So we've just come back from Watamu. We weren't massively successful with our whole fishing expeditions, I gotta be honest with you, but I guess that's just the way it goes, that's fishing. Sometimes you catch stuff, sometimes you don't. Paul's lucky shirt didn't work. What Paul did do for us is he got us some of this absolutely beautiful smoked sailfish. Doesn't look very pretty, but I promise you when you slice this up, it is just a fantastic thing. So I'm gonna make a terrine. A terrine is like a cold pate. To start off with, I wanna get some red peppers, which I have back here. Literally drop this thing on top of the fire, right in the flames. And we'll get a nice black charred skin on them. Ugh. I'm gonna get my slicer. And I'm gonna slice the sailfish on this so I get really nice thin slices. Now, you can actually buy smoked sailfish. In fact, to get it in, in, in this sort of form is very difficult. You'd have to go and see someone like Paul and go through the rigmarole that I went through. I've got my lovely slices of sailfish here on this cling fold. I'm just gonna fold that over like that. Nice thin slices, give them to Mr. Sam, and stick them in the fridge now. This is one of the reasons Paul used all that, that thread and string to hold the sailfish together. It does get quite crumbly, and you get all these sorts of bits that have fallen off. Now, none of these are gonna go to waste. So I've got my lovely carpaccio there, and this is gonna be turned into a beautiful mousse. Now, before I go into that, my peppers are ready. You can see what I mean by black and charred. Get those into a bowl or a plate. The next thing to do, again, cover them with cling film. Leave that there for five minutes. Mr. Sam will get the black stuff off for me. What's gonna go into my mousse is mascarpone cheese. It provides a texture, which is fantastic, creamy, smooth, delicious, light. It doesn't actually have a massive amount of flavor. So it means you can add the texture to the dish without compromising the flavor, and any flavors you wanna get in, you can just add. First thing I wanna do is get some zest off my lemons. Probably need the zest of half a lemon. If you don't have a zester, grate it, it's absolutely fine. Make sure you only get the yellow bit. White bit's really bitter. Chop that up, get this sailfish into the food processor like that. I'm gonna throw my lemon zest in with it. I'm gonna get a little bit of fresh dill and mascarpone cheese. Now, for that amount, I've probably got half a tub of mascarpone cheese that's gonna go in there. So I'm just gonna blend this until I get the right consistency. A little bit of a squeeze of lemon juice in there, just enough to give it an edge. And just a little bit of salt. It's delicious. All right, so I'm just gonna get that into a container here. Mr. Sam gets the dirty work. You can get that clean for me, Sam. So just get that in the fridge very quickly and get on with the rest of it. So I'm gonna make a rocket and horseradish mousse, again, using some mascarpone cheese. Some beautiful, fresh rocket and just some creamed horseradish. This is really, again, super simple. Mascarpone cheese in. I'm just gonna take my rocket, very roughly chop it. The creamed horseradish with the sweetness and that edge that it brings to everything you douse it in. A little bit of black pepper. I didn't put any black pepper in the first mousse. We'll add that dimension of flavor into this part of the mousse. So that's exactly what I want. I want to keep the rocket quite chunky in there so you get little pockets of flavor. Right, so that's my mascarpone rocket mousse ready. This can go in the fridge again just to chill. Again, putting it through the blender really heats it up and it loosens. I want it to be quite firm. Right now, my roasted red pepper. I don't know if you can see that. You wash all that charred black skin off and that's what you got there. Beautifully cooked, soft, and wonderful flavor. Take out the seeds. Pour that into nice big slices like that. That's all the process is done that we need to throw this together. Now, I've got these two silly little ramekins. The first thing I need to do is line them again with cling film. What this does is it makes it very easy later on to turn it out. So the first thing I'm gonna do is line this one with selfish, the whole outside. So I've got these beautiful bits of smoked selfish we've been in the fridge chilling. Start by lining the bottom with some. Now, we need to line the sides. So we do that by actually putting the smoked selfish and overlapping it so it falls out the side of the ramekin. We're gonna build into this now, the terrine. We've got sort of a lovely outer wrapping of this beautiful smoked selfish carpaccio. I'll start with my mousse. I've got do, which mousse? We're gonna start with our horseradish and rocket mousse, which is chilled nicely now and it's set a little bit more. Get some of this mousse into the piping bag like that. And we're just gonna very gently pipe a really nice disc on top of this smoked sailfish like this. Put some red pepper in there, act as the barrier between the two. I'm just gonna set that aside for now, and we'll just get on with the other one. Now, the difference between this one and that one, I'm just gonna line the bottom of this terrine. Again, I get some more mousse in there. Another nice bit of my roasted red pepper. The next thing for me to do is get the smoked sailfish mousse into that now. Close over the top like that, and press it. And with this one, before we do anything, we, we're gonna fold over the sides of this sailfish like this and keep together all that mousse. And then again, we'll just fold over the cling film and stick those in the fridge. Probably half an hour, an hour, and they'll set nicely. I'm gonna serve this with a warm dressing. So what I'm gonna do is take a little bit more of this red pepper that I've got, nice little squares, very pretty. Into that, it's also gonna go some capers. Just need a few. I've got some whole garlic here. P. 
peeled. The garlic is going to be both for flavour, it will add an aesthetic value too. It's actually quite a pretty little thing. Frying pan on the heat, quite a lot of olive oil. Now the first thing to do is heat the olive oil up and infuse some flavour into it. Throw all of those into this oil straight away. Now you've got to be ready for this because that garlic cooks really quickly. As soon as it starts to brown, I'm just going to strain that off like that. That into there and I'm going to hit it with some lemon juice straight away. We stop the cooking process. And then in here, warm oil back on the heat just to warm up a bit more. Olive oil back into my little bowl here. I need to add a bit of sweetness to that for this dressing. A teaspoon of honey into there. Just mix that in. Good squeeze of lemon juice. As I mix that, it all kind of comes together and, and literally it's called emulsification. It's beautiful, it gives it a lovely silky finish and texture. It's at a nice temperature now. So I'm going to get my capers, garlic and red pepper in there. I'm going to plate this bad boy up. So my tarines are both here. What I need to do now is actually turn these out. Now this is why I use this cling film. This is the one where we cover the sides of the ramekin with sailfish as well. So it's completely encased in that lovely smoked sailfish carpaccio. Set that right in the middle of the plate. Like that. The next one. There we go. And that is our other one where we didn't cover the sides. So that you can see the layers with our two different mousses and the roasted red pepper. And it looks very, very, very pretty indeed. Quite happy with that. Dressing back on the heat quickly. If you overheat that, it'll split. You'll cook the lemon juice, it'll be a disaster. Let's get that back in there. Don't want to overheat it. We've got some beautiful, super thin, sort of Melba Toast cracker. We just put them in between a terrine. Now this is going to go on top of those like that. A beautiful, warm dressing. Just going to drizzle around the outside. And finish it with a lovely bit of dill. So there we have that beautiful terrine. Smoked sailfish, mascarpone rocket, and horseradish mousse, roasted red pepper, the crackers, that lovely warm dressing with the garlic, the roasted red pepper, the caper, all these lovely textures, layers, depth of flavor. That is an absolutely delicious dish. I'm very, very happy with it. I'm sure Paul will be very chuffed with that, and I can't wait to get stuck into it.